So anyway, welcome to my studio. I'm Gada Amer, and I uh, studied in France, in Nice, long time ago. In, I graduated in 1989. And then I left to Paris for a postgraduate diploma uh, in 1991. It was a hard time to leave school, as you will uh, <laughs> experience it very soon. But um, it's once you're out, it's great, and you can. Uh, so I didn't. St I started my work um, like in school. Was um, I was in a painting department, and uh, it was always about. Um, male painters and like in art history department. Uh, uh, so we didn't have much examples of women's painters. And uh, I went to America in the 80s in Boston for a semester. And then they were teaching some of, like it was Barbara Kruger, uh, Katharina Fritsch, and all of these uh, people. And so they, uh, I was um, um, very surprised to see there was actually in some Female artists in France, there was really was not even talking about, and it was not really good to say feminist or woman or like all of this. So you assume that these kind of things were in the past or something. Anyway, so in my mind, always painting was related to a masculine, uh, um, uh, something very masculine and language of masculinity and all of this. So when I graduated, uh, I wanted really to um, to invent. A painting, a way of painting that would be really associated to women, but it had to be painting, which was my big challenge. And I, cho I actually um, chose to do it in the, the sewing because sewing is very female uh, activity all over the world. Uh, I didn't. I am Egyptian originally from Egypt, um, and I didn't want. At the, at the time, and still, I'm not very interested in showing so much my. Uh, identity as an Egyptian woman because I don't believe really in the frontiers. Uh, I have uh, um, tra traveled a lot, lived in many, many places, and uh, I always have experienced that at the end of the day we are all similar with a lot of similar problems, a little bit more or less exa exaggerated, but a little bit I am. Um, so the, the, the uh, it always pains me even until now to. Uh, to divide the world in frontiers, in race, in uh, religions, and all of this. Uh, because even here, you know, I am considered, oh, OK, I'm Gada, I'm a Middle Eastern artist. I don't even know what does it mean. Uh, in Egypt, I'm not considered to be uh, an Egyptian artist. So I, I kind of fit nowhere. And, and uh, this is uh, because, I, because I, 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 I myself, I consider myself to be like a Western artist because I grew up here. I, I, uh, but nobody, it, it's always um, very geographically, uh, I don't know why, um, uh, toned, which, is, which I dislike. Anyway, so going back to my work, I didn't want, you know, I don't know if, like, to my work to be, um, oh, this is a Middle Eastern woman, she, spe she speaks about Middle Eastern woman, poor Middle Eastern woman, they are uh, in their house and they don't uh, um, go out as if here the woman is free and is, has uh, resolved her problem. So it's very easy to, to point out, uh, oh, this, or the Chinese woman, or like the, uh, the other woman is more, as if she has problem, we don't have problem. So it was very, very important for me to, uh, f to never um, put my art into a, um, a, gen a geographic frontiers. And what I wanted, when people see it, it, I could be a man even. I don't care. I could be a woman. I don't want to, have, uh, to be a colored woman when I was doing my, uh, my art. It was, was one of the first, so, so I had two challenges to do. So I, I chose sewing, one of the reasons I, I chose sewing, it was because it was very um, internationally um, recognized as woman uh, work. And then in the beginning, I, I would do um, woman at work. Um, and then it was, it, was, and it was more like drawing because I couldn't figure out how to paint with a thread. 
because uh, yes, a lot of people have embroidered, but nobody has really painted or tried to paint with a thread. So it took me up until now to figure out, I think only now I can say, okay, I'm starting to know how to paint with a thread because I can manipulate my thread in a way that really looks like drips and um, have like this, uh, uh, um, some vocabulary of the, the history of painting. Uh, so you have an example here. You are lucky today because you have many, many examples that I can show you, go you through. It's sometimes you, you see nothing. I'm in the process. So um, this is a finished piece and I wanted to do, this is like, a, I wanted to make a, a, what I call a bang in a big red. Red is very difficult. So I said, oh, I'm so scared. So I, I started a small one first before I go to the big one. Anyway, I didn't, never did my bank because it didn't work out, but I did something else with the, because you have an idea, you start with an idea and then you do it and then it doesn't work because, because the material, the color is stronger than you. So that you have to learn how to listen to, to this. So um, then I'm gonna talk about this later because this is more, you know, this is my new work and I'm preparing a show in April with this kind of new work that you see right there. But um, going back to, to the older work, this is how it's done. So it's um, stretched. I prepare my canvas here because I, it has to be rolled. So I need, I need like a preparation that is very, um, that doesn't crack. Because I roll, unroll a lot in my work in order to either draw or sew. So um, I just buy, uh, like um, I have a guy doing the canvas, then I, I get them here and then we do everything here in the studio. Uh, uh, in the preparation of the of the canvas, so it's stretched, it, it's painted. Uh, I work with another artist. He's not here, unfortunately. He's, he's, his name is Reza Farconde, um, and uh, we work together. Some, he does uh, sometimes the, the the painting, and then I do the drawing. Sometimes we vice versa. But let's say it's um, uh, he did this particular uh, red. Then I. Uh, well, Cindy, who does the drawing. <laughs> uh, then we, we, we um, once we, this, in this case, we drew the drawing up. We don't make them like uh, when you see here, she's drawing um, the letters. We draw in an upward position uh, because we, because technically it works, technically it works better so that we can see the composition actually. Uh, it's all in a grid. Uh, then after it's rolled like this and it starts to be embroidered, then the embroidery, as you can see, this is, this is what I call my drips. So it's uh, like this. It's as if it's embroidered in the reverse. So we start um, and then uh, I stretch it again and then I, I glue it with a gel medium. And this, I do whatever I want, either it's like this or it's work. Like this is my paint, my, my, my other coat of, uh, of paint afterwards. So this is how, uh, uh, so in, in my new, in the new work I'm preparing uh, right now, I'm gonna do a show in uh, April at Chaman Reed. And I'm um, going to show, I did the, I don't know, uh, sculptures, bronze. And I, I, I don't work here in the sculpture because I work somewhere else, it's just another, um, set up. So we're going to see that. Plus, I, uh, we, we did uh, a new series of, uh, of painting, which are with portraits and using uh, uh, famous, uh, fem like feminist quotes that I like, which are quotes that doesn't destroy men. Like it doesn't say, oh, I hate men because like it's not about this war between men and women, but it's more about um, uh, like being strong and continuing uh, and be focused on, on, um, on the identity of being a woman and how it is strong and how we continue. So these are the quotes that I am, I am using. Um, some of them are with, with portraits and some of them are without portraits. So those one that I'm working on is portraits and uh, those qu quotes. So this is, uh, this is, so I've done, it, I'm, I'm doing, I'm using Arabic and English. I have like this language thing because I, I, I speak um, fluently three languages like uh, um, French, English, and Arabic, and a little German, but uh, I don't use the German so well as Cindy. <laughs> I used to though, but my German disappeared. But 
uh, so always I, I, when I make art, it's always about, especially using language, languages. Um, but I, for this one, I don't know why I didn't feel to do in, in French. Just, I don't know why, but it's English and, uh, and Arabic. Um, I, I used to do a lot in France when I lived in France. But that, then suddenly here, I feel like nobody understands French really. It's very little people that understand, so it makes me... Um, but Arabic, of course, nobody understands it, but there is <laughs> first it's very beautiful and there is more and more as well a, a big population of Arab, and especially Arab women, that needs to be uh, addressed to. That's why I have chosen to, to, to write in Arabic as well. So, to, to, so this is one is finished, this is the Arabic one is, is finished, so you can come and, and look at it. I choose the quotes I like. <laughs> that speaks about women and uh, give them strength. It's, it's my, uh, this one, I don't know if you have, you have uh, known this um, woman. It, you know Femen, this group uh, Femen? So uh, there was in Tunisia after the Arab Spring, uh, she, uh, a Tunisian woman wrote on her body, my body belongs to, to me and it doesn't represent uh, an honor for you. You know, like honor killing. And they honor. wanted to kill her and in order to save her, uh, the lawyer um, uh, um, told her, told, told the, the, the people she's crazy, and, they, and now she is under, uh, um, she's in a, a psychiatric hospital uh, because she has done this. Of course, she's not crazy, but this is it's either she is going to be considered as crazy or. So for me, it was a very, very painful story, especially that she wrote on her body, and I was doing this. So I decided to, to, to really. Um, do this, uh, this, this portrait for her. And the way she was, she, she picked herself, she, she was smoking a cigarette. This was the photo that she circulated on, on um, uh, Facebook, actually. This started. So she was like this, with, a, with um, her breast open and just smoking a cigarette. And this is, if you go from far, you can see it's the same. So this is this, and then she is like here smoking a cigarette. So I, this is like an homage to this, uh, to this special incident. Um, yes, I do uh, use title a lot, yes. And, yeah. The color is, the color itself, is that, like, what is that? Is that acrylic color or the... Uh, which one? Well, like this the, one. The, like this. Yeah, this is like watercolor with the gel medium. Mm. Hmm. So it's kind of acrylic in a way, because mm -hmm. once you put the gel yeah. medium, yes? Well, maybe you want to represent, like, her image more abstractly instead of using, like, First, the other painting is not finished. The other painting will look like this one. Yeah. So is it? But it's like easier, you know, like to see. Easier to see? Uh, yeah, you maybe. Know you know, what? No, I didn't know. I don't know what makes me want to draw. It was very clear. I don't know. I'm experimenting. This is the first time I'm doing this. So when you, when you see this, it's super clear. When I got it, I'm like, where is the lady? You know, like it is so, <laughs> so I am in the process of like, okay, uh, as well discovering what I am, uh, not everything is controlled because you just uh, have an idea and then you, you start, oh, it, it looks more like this, oh, here it looks like, so as it is a very new series, uh, I, um, uh, I want it though that it is in the background. I never wanted these, these uh, figures to be, uh, on the foreground anyways. But how it is far in the background, this is what I am as well learning through this process, like how can I control this, uh, um, uh, how far can it go, how to push it back and forth, this I haven't. Uh, uh, it's extremely abstract. I was, I, I was actually kind of pleased with it because when I, I was doing the um, drawing, it was too obvious. And I was like, mm, it's too obvious like this. And then now it's, little bit much back because I, it's more dreamy. I don't know. But I didn't intend. It's not like uh, this is how it is going to be. What about the poses in the red one? Where did they come from? Uh, from uh, porn magazine. <laughs> Why do you choose that? Because I wanted to represent with, um, with a medium of embroidery um, uh, something that was from the realm of men. Like uh, uh, like a porn magazine, it's, the woman is not it's not supposed to be for women. For women is like the cooking magazine or the fashion magazine, but the uh, the porn magazine is just for the men. So what I wanted to do is to go in, in within 
like a, 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 typif a typical um, representation of woman uh, intended for men, and to take it and to embroider it as a double super subordination. As to ask, what is this? So this is why I have chosen the. the but you've used a lot of those images. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my signal. Yes, exactly. This is like, uh, and now I'm getting more and more. I'm a little bit uh, getting away from this to to um, to do with those. Uh, I don't know. This is new. The the writing and the quotes and the portraits. Uh, yeah, well, it's political, but more, uh, yeah. So. You said you're doing um, bronze sculptures of yeah. passes. What, what are those sculptures of? Woman. So my subject is woman, yeah. anyway. So is it I like can... life casted from the from the actual body? No, no, or? no, no. It's like drawing in the space. From the other side, you can see them very well. From the uh, one side, you don't know what you lo you're looking at. A little bit like my. Uh, so. That you translated the way you speak that way. Yes, this is like a 3D. It's it's a, yeah, absolutely. It's a, Did it's you a, have that idea in mind when you first started doing the sculpture that you wanted to make it that kind of circular form? Yeah. Uh, I, I wanted. I started to do with the words actually this sculpture. I want. My idea was to make hollow object. Uh, mm -hmm. My idea was to, it, it is is the, the the void is going to be my sculpture like this the so. And then this is how it started uh, as idea. No, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have the, the idea. Are you working with a sculptor um, that works on the same meadow? No, I worked. I first worked. Cindy, I met there in her in the sculpture. She was doing my sculpture. I I worked first with a guy who does resin. Then, I went. I I did a, a scale one resin. Then I, I uh, went with this to the metal shop okay. that they reproduce. So, they so I didn't, they cast for me. No, I didn't want anybody to make it bigger. I scale one. Oh, one scale. It's scale one. So it's my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how it is, and this is another one. This is with words, yeah. reverse. It's the, uh, in Arabic there is 100 words uh, that means love. So it's, uh, I use this 100 words. Yeah. This is how we met. <laughs> but this is, the, this is the second word. <laughs> so what's it? It's like for the sculpture, you will see them in April uh, if you go. You will see them in real, it's, it's like um, different. Um, when you say hope, when you see them in real, I don't know. Um, when you were like in, in school, were you always interested in, so when you started to make art, were you, or when you started to make art, were you st did you start when you were a little kid, or how did you actually? Oh, no. Kids? Yes, well, I used to love to draw, of course. But my, I was not allowed, because this was a waste of time. So my, it was very strict. My parents wanted me to study like math, or English, or French, and, and things like this, not drawing. But this was the play. Drawing was the play. So, uh, and at school, I, I used to love it because it's the only class in, in Egypt. It was a great class. In, in France, it was horrible. They, they put us downstairs. We, we could do whatever we want. I was like all in paint. I dipped myself into the paint. Like it was OK. You know, like we, we were so free. And nobody judges you. It was play, play time. And, um, and I, I, we didn't, I, I don't even remember we had notes, you know, like they didn't grade us or if there's no competition, it was not very important. Nobody anyway was doing it. Only me and my sister, I remember, I loved this class. And then uh, when I came to France, I, I thought the art class was going to be like this. So I took it and it was horrible, no, because, you know, if I did like a, a little mistake in my thing, it was bad, I had a D. You know, like the stupid things, like you drop um, your, uh, your uh, <laughs> if you don't take care of the edge of the, <laughs> you know, like uh, if your line was not, I don't know what, so very academic, and I was like, well, this is not art, so I, I really didn't like it, so I, I uh, and you were graded and it was very severe. And you have to do perspective. I couldn't even see. I was like, what is this? It was. <laughs> 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 
you know, because we didn't learn perspective. It was, this is what's cool, like how to do a cube. This was the, the, the class to do perspective. I'm like, I couldn't even see the perspective because I was seeing always two, two squares flat anyway and with lines like this. And I, <laughs> so it was funny. So I um, used to, to draw at home. And my, my mother was not, it's, oh, no, what are you doing? Did you finish your, your class, your homework? I said, yes. So only if I finish, I was allowed to draw. And then, uh, but I was not, uh, I didn't even know you can go to art school and it's life after. But uh, no, I was a little bit more of a free. Uh, <laughs> so how did you go to art school then? Huh? I got depressed. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. And then the only thing I wanted to do is to draw because it was calming me down. It wasn't like because, uh, and then my parents took me to the therapist and the therapist told them, oh, she, you should let her do whatever she wants. Like, what do you want to do? I said, I don't know. You know, you don't know what you want to do. I was very young. I graduated school too young. I was too much in advance because I, like my parents thought I was a genius. So they put me like I was, uh, I graduated, I, I finished high school, I was 15, something like very young, something very too young, you know, like, um, so um, um, I didn't know what I wanted to do, what I want to be, you know, but uh, uh, so the only thing that I liked is, is to draw. And then they told me, you know, there is something called art school. I said, oh, really, it's good. So. I went, I liked it, but I failed my exam. I passed the exam, I failed. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> so what arts did you go to? Nice. But then I said, oh, this I like. I'm going to study this. So I, I really, this was something that suddenly I was like, oh, this. So I, I, it, it, it was very, for me, an aim. Like, oh, I, I failed, but I can reapply and I can work. How do you, so I inquired, how do you do to, to, we, to, like to, to get inside the art school. So they told me I have to take this class, this class. So I started to a little bit more, be more hopeful. And, uh, um, and then I, my parents was like, oh no. She, like for them, you see, you failed. <laughs> they were so happy. You can't go to art school. <laughs> It's true. Then I said, I'd, I'd rather be happy and do this than just be miserable and do something in the office. And then you, it's, for me, it was very um, clear. I, I, I was not. Uh, so I went to art school. I actually, no, I was not allowed to go to art school. I took the exam. I got in. Then I subscribed and everything. But they, because my parents paid for me the school. So and then I took the money of the school to the other school. <laughs> And I called, oh, la, la, this was horrible. But then I, they, I was too far anyway. <laughs> so I went to art school. <laughs> Did they ever like, accept you being an artist? Now, yes. Now, yeah. My mom only like lately. Lately, just lately, because she, she doesn't like what I do. Nudes, she calls them. What's the nudes? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And then she said to me, from far, it's nice. No, but it's nice color from far. <laughs> <laughs> but she loves my sculpture. So, but, so you, you, when you went to art school, did you, did you like it then? Did you yeah. like do painting and sculpture? Yeah, 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 yeah I loved it. And the sculpture, no. I did only painting. And was that in Paris? No, in Nice. In Nice. Nice. How in the south. Because uh, my parents were, uh, were, were there. I, I grew up in this. I, I was 11 when I went there because my parents were doing a PhD. Mm -hmm. So I, this is how I, I grew up. And actually, my parents only wanted, if I go to art school, I only had to go to Nice. Anyways, I didn't have choices. Okay, Nice, Nice, it's fine. It was good school after, after all. But, uh, so. There were other women studying art. Yeah, there were other women. No, I had a, I, I, I had a very um, actually horrible ex one horrible experience. Sometimes I like to talk about it. Uh, now you're pushing me, so I'm going to talk about. It. <laughs> I had a, I wanted to be a painter, but the painter teacher didn't. Uh, she, he didn't want women in his painting class, so um, he only accepted men. And I absolutely wanted. So then she said, "Okay, accept, but you don't come to my class." 
So, and then he, he, he didn't tell us how to stretch the canvas, didn't tell us how to do the painting, nothing. So if we wanted to know, we had to go to ask the male. Our male, like we were like the second grade. Uh, uh, and for me it was very horrible and I used to scream, it's not normal, is it normal like this? And then, because already I come from Egypt, so let me tell me like, I'm like this, is t uh, this is one of the reasons I don't believe that, for example, in Egypt or like, I lived this in France in 89. Like that a guy decided uh, that a woman cannot paint because I don't know what, uh, uh, what does he think. So, um, so I was very frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons I wanted to sew, <laughs> like I was, like this, this has um, a lot participated to my, uh, yeah, there was one other woman, because a lot of women, they decided not to paint, because it was very, uh, uh, it was impossible, so they would do other things, uh, but not to paint, so, or to, to go to another uh, conceptual class, you know? Because it was very easy at the time to be conceptual artist, so it was like, okay, let's be conceptual. But it's not because you don't, you, you want to be a painter or you want to be a conceptual artist. It's you, if you have a choice, yes, you can choose, but you don't do this because you cannot do that. So, um, so I left to Boston. This is one of the reasons I was very upset, so I went to Boston. Uh, and then, but then to study, and then I discovered this woman, and then I was, uh, and then in my school, as women were not allowed to touch all of the machines. But in Boston, we were allowed to touch all of the, so the machines, like uh, welding. And I took welding. Even the teacher pushed me to take And I was very scared to, because it was not like I'm not allowed. And you know, you are, uh, you, you, I was very scared um, because I thought it, it was not for women or something like this. But she was. So there, it was very important for me on this level to, to, uh, to, to, to be conscious that my school is, is not very normal. But in the same time, my school in Nice was very, very good. Like, um, was really um, in a level of uh, concept and uh, prepare, pre preparing was better than the school in Boston because the school in Boston was just only technical. Which school was it? A museum school. Mm. It was a good, good school, but much more compared to a French school. French school, like they should have merged. You know what I mean? Like the, the French school was very uh, theoretical, like history of art, or like we knew how to talk about our art, you know? Like, uh, uh, but how to do and how really to, it was very much lacking. The, the knowledge of your, uh, of, the, of the hand was, was not very good in Nice, very good in Boston, but I prefer to, to gain this after. Um, because they we would, so that's why I, I came back. I didn't continue to Boston. Um, and it was more expensive. <laughs> what, at this point, for you, what part, what part of the process is the most exciting, the most fulfilling? And in my painting or in my sculpture, what? Your painting. Oh, it's one I, yeah, it's one I take risk. You know, I, I start something, I don't know. Uh, if it's gonna work or not. You know, like for the word painting, I was so excited. I did tons of, uh, like, <laughs> we did tons of <laughs> essays. And it was very exciting because uh, I didn't know if I was gonna get, can see the woman, don't see the woman. I don't know how these things react. And for the sculpture too, I had, first we had even no idea that it can, it's not gonna collapse. So uh, this is the most, Exciting. Is there a part of the process that doesn't involve the, the embroidery or the sewing? Like when you're trying to develop ideas, do you develop them? Uh, no, without the, what do you mean? No, we were like. No, not, this is sewing is just. Experiment. No, the sewing is the last. Uh, it's one, it's like, um, it's, it's my style in a way. So it's not, it's. Uh, um, it's one step, it's the end. Like, it's okay, I'm gonna do this because I need, this is the way I paint. Mm -hmm. But the idea is not, oh, I'm gonna do this embroider because it has to be embroider or something. It's just because I want to embroider with, I want to paint with embroidery because this is what I, this is part of the concept in a way, you know, like, uh, uh, will I abandon embroidery? I, I ask myself, like, now it's okay, I, I am, there's a lot of women who can paint and all of, you know what I mean? And so I can, 
but it's just has been part of me, like of this battle to, to try to, to find this language for women that I, uh, I kind of think that I'm still not, I have to explore more and more this language so it becomes a real language because yes, I may, you know, so I can really uh, master it in a way. So it can become uh, a language, so a style and an accepted way. No, like I, I, I'm not interested in embroidery in, in particular. I mean, it's not something that uh, I'm interested in craft in general. I like as well this kind of craft versus art, like all of this. But I'm not, um, um, you know, I don't. It's not something that is. I, I don't know much about it. Ah, it's not started yet. The bigger canvas. Yeah, this is for this is for uh, it will help me because I know it's not possible to do what I want to do, so I have to do something else. So I don't, you know, like this is like uh, I'm not gonna do exactly the same, but I'm I'm gonna push it a little bit further, but in this way. So um, uh, yeah, it's very helpful. It was very helpful because it really didn't work. I don't know if it didn't work because I I, I suspect as well, but uh, because it's a smaller scale. Because what I want to do is 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 it's it's a bang. It's called the explosion. But it, I think it only works when it's big. It's, it's on a certain scale. So I don't know yet. So I will still bang the other one to see if it only works at this scale or it just doesn't work because of the color or because of I don't know what. So this is, uh, it's still, it's, I, I have to do it unfortunately. So I, I was a little bit scared to do a big one. Yeah, bigger even. Yeah. All my paintings are more big because I wanted to do a bang. <laughs> <laughs> it was scary. I have never done a, a red bang, an explosion. It's what I call the explosion. These these ones that explode. It's always black or white or color. I'm, I I have some. I'm sure it will work, but I don't know. I still haven't figured out how it will work. So maybe this one will not work, but maybe another red one will work. I don't know. It's why I am really still. Uh, uh, small one didn't work. So I did this, fine, but it's not an explosion. Well, how long have you been in New York City, and how do you find that living in New York affects you and your work? And your work? I've, I've been living here since 1997, and I am a total New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> I love this city. The first time I came when I was like, before I was in Boston, I said, I'm coming here. I feel it very in international, very, uh, you don't feel somebody in, part like, uh, in particular, I don't feel particularly Egyptian, I, I can be sometimes Indian, sometimes Dominican, sometimes whatever, I, you know, it's the, just very nice, uh, and nobody really, yeah, they, to they tell you, so where you, where you come from? Like, they are curious, uh, but uh, sometimes I'm from New York, they are happy, it's very funny, but it's just a city that, uh, um, that is good for me. I like very much. Did it affect your, you think it affected your work? In, it, it, did your work change when you came here at all? Did it all no. affect your painting? Not, no, I don't think so. But uh, no, I don't, I don't get affected by uh, cities. because they need to, to, to read that. <laughs> In case they don't read English, <laughs> because it's necessary for them to have it written and to have in this language. I did as well in Korean huh? language, to tell you the truth, in Korea. Uh, because now more and more Arab are interested in the art maybe, so they can read, it can, like they, so it can travel. So I know that at some point they will be able to read it. So it's important. Uh, that's why I did uh, in Arabic. Uh, is it my first Arabic? Yes, almost my first Arabic. Um, yeah. But it's probably very interesting for our students to see. Well, it's definitely interesting for them to see your studio. It's really fascinating mm -hmm. to see how you work. And you have assistants. And uh, it's really interesting to see the process. and. I wondered if you ever assisted 
yourself if you ever assisted another artist. artist. Nope. And so at what point did you realize, okay, I think I need uh, other hands? Oh, uh, it's since a long time. Mm -hmm. Since I started in Nice, in France, not Nice. Mm -hmm. Because of, the, of how long it takes. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning I couldn't have, so it was in production. So the, the, the museum or whatever paid for me to, to, to have somebody to help me. So it's uh, since maybe 1994. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I came here, I didn't have money at all, so I couldn't, so I did it myself. Uh, and then as soon as I start to sell, I told the gallery, it's very, like, I, this is, I need people to produce this. I cannot do it, otherwise I will do once a year. Maybe I should have done this, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then I cannot, like, I can't, like, I am trying to, to figure out, I cannot figure out the next step. I need, I cannot be, so I like sometimes to sew because it's very relaxing and, or to do this, but I cannot do it all the time because it's just, my, I have to, to create, so I have to free my, my, my mind to do something, yeah, like the, the, the thinking part. And so are you, what's your uh, usual week like? Are you in the studio a lot? Are you yeah. also traveling? Not anymore. I decided not. I, I don't want to travel anymore because I couldn't focus. So I don't go to all of these openings because they want me to go. I think it's not very necessary right now for me anyway, and it's not interesting anymore. I don't shake hands, shake hands, you know? It becomes, and it's not very good quality of traveling, and it, you know, so I, uh, I, I, I only go to very important things that I think it's worth going, which is not a lot. <laughs> so, so I stay here, and I'm less. I I, may, I don't know. I don't know even why how I did it before. I was inviting all of the Biennales of the world. Now I I've done them all, so they don't invite me anymore. So. <laughs> it's <laughs> so it's a little bit more uh, less traveling for me right now, which which is good. How was it like? Got a lot more attention. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's nice. It's surprising, but it's it's always nice. It's just very. It's exciting. It's uh, it's uh, the most exciting part is that you do what you love. This is the most exciting. It's not big take off. It doesn't. You know. It's like okay. I can. This is my job. You know. And this is what I will have always want. I like to do. And I can do it, which was surprising, but I can do it without being able to have another job. And, and, and so for me, it was very, um, but I chose, for example, to be in this neighborhood. In the beginning, I, I knew that if I wanted to, 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 um, to make it like the beginning, I was able to, to focus on my work so I can spend more time in, like, in the studio rather than outside the studio trying to make money. Uh, but some people, they cannot do it. Some people, they need a certain uh, style uh, life, mm -hmm. and they have to pay for it anyway. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, thank you so much for You're letting welcome. us come into this very private place and You're welcome. And see your work and see your studio. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming to this neighborhood.